difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. here back to the 15 it's a loss of two now third down and I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive this is third and long man wasn't that long ago that the guy playing that spot was an outside linebacker type of a guy now as a defensive end how about the speed that he used to get into the backfield and make the play it'll be a gain of six and that's going to bring up a fourth down that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. So on fourth down, here's Jake Shum to put it away. And it's fielded at the 34. <laughs> A good return there, 17 yards. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. So here are the Patriots now in excellent field position to start things out. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth. And it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now a play fake, Brady. And this is Shepard on the catch. That catch good for five, it's third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. On first down, Brady. Jeffrey with a catch, left side. Whoosh. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. Let's be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. That's caught at the two. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Brady now on third and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Sean Jeffrey from three yards out, and the Patriots add on to their lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Extra point now by Boswell. And it's 
good to make it 14 nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> and the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Ashawn Robinson coming out of the University of Alabama. A big, physical, intimidating force who had to learn to play with more leverage. Otherwise, he's going to get blown off the ball in the NFL. Looks like he's learning his lessons after that play. They keep it on the ground, white again. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Here's Jacob Shum now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. Take it in at the 22. <laughs> Again with a juke. End of one. The Patriots here have the early lead. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two as they take over following the punt with a first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. Caught right side, Davis. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Vernon Davis, 45 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Quarterback loves the receivers, but sometimes his best friend is that tight end. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Because we always talk about the guys out wide and how acrobatic they are. But that tight end. Great sight lines, easier throws. They become a bigger and bigger weapon as the NFL evolves. Boswell for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. A chance for us to get a glance at this Patriots defense. They were able to force that three and out. That led to a touchdown. Defenses obviously love three and outs. They want more of that. They created a very short, 
and not too sweet stint for the offense by getting them off the field that fast, but it set up their own offense, gave them a little spark, and they took it downfield and scored. Now the question, can they do it again? Let's see. The drive starts with a run by White, and he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and ten. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Looking left side, and it's complete. A good pick up there, a 22. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. On first down, Wilson. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Le'Veon Bell, it's a foot race. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Le'Veon Bell, 42 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Well, looking down at my game card here, that's five drives now for them and four touchdowns. I think anybody would take an 80% ratio. I'm sure that they would, but if you flip it over to the other side of the ball, what are they going to hang their hat on? There was one possession. They held them to no score whatsoever. That's where they're going to try and build on and try and slow this team down. Extra point now by Boswell. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. And he stopped immediately there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. When you put together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. Second down. This is White on the screen. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. It's a loss of seven. And now it's third down. 
Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Third and long, it's Wilson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will have the highlights and analysis of this first half from our studios in Orlando. And I have a feeling those highlights will be pretty one-sided, too. Yeah, I think you're right, partner. Well, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's taken to the 26. Oh, he will not go down. Have to retape those ankles. A great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll see, I love we'll it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Again, it's Bell. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Second down following the run. Now he'll throw with Brady. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Rizzo. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Patriots have been moving the football at will, and the total yardage numbers stand out. The Chiefs' defense hasn't been able to get stops, and that inability to get off the field is costing them time and time again. 
So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Chiefs back deep for the kickoff. Shepard's going to start from the five, and he'll take this all the way for the touchdown. Patriots up by a touchdown. Patriots line up at the 46. The catch at traffic made by Davis, and nobody can stop him on this long touchdown. Lead close to 21. We go to the second quarter. The pass ends up being picked off. Hightower is the one who makes the pick to give a boost to his defense. Now following the pick, Bill's going to dart up the middle. And he'll run it in from 43 yards out. The Patriots way in front. That'll do it from here in Orlando. Let's get you back out to Dallas as we hand things over to Brandon Guy. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. White. He hurdles him. Should get a gold medal for that one. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. They stay on the ground with White. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. Setting up the receiver screen here to Thomas. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Fielded at about the 28. Wow, evasive. Make a miss. Might have needed just one more block as it stands. 37-yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They come out here in the eye. Brady now on first down. And Davis has it over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 16 on the pickup. And it'll give the Patriots a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Again, it's Brady. This will be caught at about the five. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. 
An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. My 20! Brady looking to throw on third and two. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Kelvin Benjamin, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are pouring it on. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now Wilson on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. When you hear screen, screen, screen on defense, that's a little bit scary because you know a big play might result. He was so ready to get to part two of the screen, he forgot part one, couldn't get the ball. Here's White. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. So third and medium here, third and five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Here's Wilson to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Okay. Fielded just inside the 20. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Patriots take over. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come out here in the eye. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll rifle this one deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown. New England, Demarius Thomas, 67 yards, and the Patriots continue to roll. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches, and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. Hey, that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Double tight, 
start the drive with a give to White. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that. And he's going to be taken down. He's sacked on the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We will return with more of Draft Champions on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And the O-line will have to do a better job protecting here on third down after that sack. Third and long, it's Wilson. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Yeah, this is taken at the 23. Look at the dance of the juke. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll come up now in the Wildcat package. A Wildcat look now. Here's Ivory. Sheds a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule, trying to get four downs on first down, they did that plus three. So second down, three yards to go now. They come out here in the eye. Back to the ground, this time with Bell. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. Who with a juke. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. They find some open field here. Oh, he slipped right by him. Le'Veon Bell, kiss him goodbye. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Le'Veon Bell, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Patriots are pouring it on. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he's to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one of she's our guys. singing too. Oh, she's singing. She, yeah, she's at she's least, on like the fifth tune. At yeah, this point. She, she left scales way behind. But he's to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Timing is crucial in any route thrown. But when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. They send Thomas out to the right by himself. Second and ten now, Wilson. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dante Hightower coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So a big sack on second down. Now let's see what the offense has in store for third. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. From the gun on third down, Wilson goes underneath here to White. And down he'll go at the 25. Give him seven on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Jacob Shum now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. This will be fielded at the 17. He won't go down. <laughs> There goes Sterling Shepard. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver, and it's second down. It's a four-receiver look, all to the left side. Second and ten, it's Wilson again. Ertz has it, left side. 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They send Thomas out to the right by himself. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And Thomas has it. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 11 on the game there. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Wilson throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Quincy Anud with the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. They'll come out in the pistol. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Now Wilson. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now a first down following that long gain. They go play action here on first down. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. There's Wilson. James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. And now it's third down. And we're hitting the end of this one, and it looks to probably be the final play. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. And this guy that is going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. And probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout when you're pitching a shutout. And they're going to leave the stadium feeling like they're all 10 feet tall. That'll do it from here for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Draft Champions here on EA Sports. For more, head on over to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Big D.